Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the efforts of the Captain of the Knights team, Her Highness Sheikh Noura bint Hamad Al Khalifa, by sponsoring the Best Horse Conformation Contest in the opening race of the international season for a distance of 100 to 120 kilometers. His Highness affirmed that this award confirms Her Highness's keenness to support stables and jockeys and contributes to the continued prosperity of Bahrain's endurance sport. His Highness also stressed that this award, which is approved by the International Equestrian and Endurance Federation, will have a positive impact on the strong competition and the keenness of the jockeys and stables for the safety of horses after the conclusion of the stages. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his happiness to continue recording high numbers of participants in the endurance races, which is an indication of the development of the sport and its steady progress. His Highness indicated that the entry of new participants is one of the goals set by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, headed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa by creating the ideal atmosphere for young jockeys. The Bahrain International Endurance Village witnessed strong competition in the 40 and 80 kilometer local qualifying races with a wide and large participation of stables and jockeys. Also, a veterinary examination was held in the new village of Ras Al Bar for the ability to conduct a race of 100 and 120 kilometers international distance with a wide participation of the riders and horses were numbered and the weight of the riders taken. The new village of Ras Al Bar will host the start of the 100 and 120 kilometer international race after its inauguration according to the requirements of the International Equestrian Federation where it will witness a wide participation of stables and jockeys in their efforts to achieve high ranks ahead of the upcoming National Day Championship next December. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa visited a number of families to mark the festival of Diwali. His Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to reinforcing the principles of coexistence and tolerance in the vision of His Majesty the King. His Highness conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Asar Puta. Thakur, Kavalani, Vaidya, Bhatia, Kewalran, and Muljimal families on this occasion. He highlighted that the kingdom's openness has provided a safe ground for different communities to practice their religions, adding that the values of Bahraini citizens continue to embrace tolerance and respect to all religions in line with the teachings of Islam. He expressed his best wishes to the families on the festival and praised their contribution to the kingdom's multicultural environment. The families expressed their gratitude for His Highness's visit and commended His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and His Highness support to the Kingdom's communities. The families concluded by wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and development.
The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, praised the keynote speech delivered by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, at the 26th United Nations Climate Change Conference of the Parties, COP26, held in Glasgow in the United Kingdom. The Minister noted that the speech confirmed the Kingdom's vision on the need to step up international cooperation to confront the repercussions of climate change being among the challenges to the world in the present and the future. The Minister said that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's announcement of the Kingdom's commitment to reaching net zero by 2060 and reducing emissions by 30% by 2035 through decarbonization and efficiency initiatives and doubling deployment of renewable energy is a message to the world that confirms the extent to Bahrain's keenness to honor its environmental pledges at the international level. The minister pointed out that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Oil has implemented a wide range of environmental projects and initiatives aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions and the negative effects of climate change in cooperation with many local and international agencies. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad met virtually with the Omani Minister of Culture, Sports and Youth, the Yazan bin Haytham al Said. The Minister of Youth and Sport Affairs stressed the depth of fraternal relations between both countries and people and their perpetual growth at all levels in light of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said. He underlined the importance of promoting the youth and sports work between the two brotherly countries and launching joint initiatives to exchange experiences. The Omani Minister of Culture, Sports and Youth lauded the solid brotherly ties binding both countries and people and their steady growth in various fields. He underscored the importance to further enhance the bahraini omani relations mainly in the youth and sport field. The French President Emmanuel Macron received the credentials of Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa as Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the French Republic. The Ambassador conveyed to the French President the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He asserted that his role will focus on further strengthening the relations between Bahrain and France at all levels for the benefit of both countries and people. The French president congratulated Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed on his new position, affirming his support to the ambassador to ensure the success of his diplomatic duties. The chief executive of the Economic Development Board, Khalid Ibrahim Hmeidan, announced that the board will be focusing on several initiatives aimed at further economic growth and contributing to attracting direct investments across vital economic sectors to achieve the objectives of the plan. The Economic Growth and Physical Balance Plan aims to create quality jobs and enhance Bahrain's economic competitiveness. He indicated that the recovery plan prioritizes supporting the key sectors to boost economic development. The sectors include oil and gas, tourism, logistics, financial services, telecommunication, information technology, digital economy and manufacturing. In addition to launching Temkin's new programs to stimulate medium and small companies in these sectors. The chief executive said that the development of these economic sectors will diversify the national economy and support its growth. Hamidan expressed confidence that the successful implementation of Bahrain's economic recovery plan will be facilitated by its highly qualified and skilled workforce. Economists in the Kingdom of Bahrain affirm that the government's interest in supporting the tourism sector by placing it within the program of the Economic Recovery Plan, approved by the Council of Ministers in its last session, is considered a positive step that would help the tourism sector recover from the repercussions of the corona pandemic as it is one of the main tributaries of the Bahraini economy. The Economic Recovery Plan program developed a future roadmap framed by a strategy for the development of the tourism sector that relies on facilitating entry and attraction, promoting 
marketing and accommodating with the aim of raising the level of tourism indicators, such as stimulating the spending of tourists by 2 billion dinars and increasing the number of visitors for the purpose of tourism to 14.1 million tourists. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that a 1,179,908 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,144,005 had taken the second, and 465,900 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 371 with 36 recoveries, 27 registered new cases and no deaths. Six of the new registered cases are expatriates, 19 are contacts of active cases and two are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.